do a big, what I call a big piece. <laughs> it's got the, all the pages. That was um, Tranquillo Overture by uh, Pietro Dero. So um, this next one is Gerald Crossman. And um, it says two minutes, five seconds at the top. But I'll be doing it in about 2.15. <laughs> so, and that's... Oh no, oh, that, that's uh, plenty fast enough. Uh, this is called Gay Time. <laughs> make it interesting for you guys. So this is um, Zardash, but it is not Monty's Zardash. This is Fugasa's Zardash. <laughs> Thank you. 
that's okay. It'll warm up when you come to it. Right. Um, variations are quite a nice sort of thing to do in the accordion. And um, I had this, uh, the, the really nice Rossini with the picture of him on, and they're all bright colours. And we've got this really bright red piece of music, and it's his variations and dark eyes. But there's one funny little bit in the middle, which I don't really like, actually. And then I've got this other piece of music with his Magnante's variations and dark eyes. So I thought, you know what? I'll string them all together, and I've got another great big double page turn here. And uh, so this is Prasini, Magnante, Prasini, Dark Eye Variations. <coughs> Thank you. 
happens when you're trying to demolish things on the train. Right. <laughs> uh, right, I thought I'd do um, a little bit of a change in uh, the sound. I brought both accordions, so uh, yes, I'm changing over in the middle. Um, right. I can't even remember what I'm doing next now. Oh, yes, right. I always rummage around in these um, boxes of old music, and uh, this piece I found half falling apart and uh, I think Rob Howard sort of saw me pull it out and he said oh Pearl plays that, Walter plays that so uh, I thought well I'll give it a go and it is um, the Lambeth Polka and I should have set this before I started right okay <coughs> this one's a bit lighter program I always do this but um, I made a promise in April and I thought do you know what I'd better do it and um, I went to Liverpool in April and I went on the train I thought I'd just have a nice easy day just go and say hello to a few people and I walked into the room and <laughs> Green from the Isle of Wight said oh Helen you're here you can play this piece of music for me I've entered it into the composers competition as I can't I've not got an accordion so I had to borrow Danny Hinchcliffe's accordion. I nipped down the back corridor. I ran through it a couple of times under her instruction and uh, I went and played it. So she gave me the music and I said, I'll play it in Dudley. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so she can tell me whether I've done it right or wrong. And I'm quite sure if, you, if you'd like a copy of the music, haven't heard it. <laughs> right. It is called Place du Terre.
right. I've lost my other bit of music now. Um, Okie dokie. I am going to try and find it. Um, here we go. Right. This is a piece. I've, um, I've been meaning to play this piece for a while. Um, it is the old rumba rhythm, like Cubanola and, uh, you know, the, that sort of rhythm. But this one is written by Pietro Dero, and it is called Cubanera. So it's another long piece, so I'm all over here. Right. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> waltz but I've changed it as well so I'm going to play a different one and uh, I might regret it because this was a piece that was um, recorded by Marcus Signori and there's no way I can play it like he did but it is <laughs> it is a lovely tune so I'm going to play it and I'm not even sure how you pronounce it properly because I thought it was French and I said wang but I don't think it is I think it's Moine or Moine um, it's written by Bontalenti and it's described as a continental waltz. So, can't see. I need some glasses. I'm a bit like Johan. <laughs> <laughs> 